Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is Cicely Justine here and we are back with another Sister Lock update. <music> So we are here for another sister lock update. We are at 26 months. Crazy. Time flies. But most importantly, guess what? I'm going on a cruise. She going on a cruise. She going, she going, she going on a cruise. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Yes, I'm going on a cruise, okay? So y'all are going to get ready with me as I go on a cruise. I sound stopped up right now because my allergies are messing with me. Again, it's that time of the year. So y'all are going to get ready with me. I'm gonna take my scarf off and shout out to, I can get my scarf off. I <laughs> so, shout out to my loctician for this roller set. I got a lot of rollers. Ooh, she got a lot of rollers. I got a lot of rollers that I need to take out. I have no idea what I want to do with my hair, but we're going to figure that out together. So I can talk about what's been going on with my sister locks, girl. So I got my locks retightened at about, it was about a five week mark. And something that me and my loctician noticed is that my hair kind of does better getting my locks retightened around the four to six week mark instead of the, um, I mean, my hair does better around the four to five week mark instead of the six week mark. Um, I don't know, it just cooperates better. Um, of course it's faster, but it just seems to be more manageable when I do it that way. So I think we're gonna try to keep it around or five-ish, five-ish mark, and kind of see how that goes. That's that extension. Um, and kind of see how that goes. All right, so of course, if you all have been following me in my channel, you know that I have experienced a lot of postpartum shedding. So I gotta talk about that and what's going on lately with my shedding. Um, with this retie, um, the shedding seemed to be better. And I think there's a couple of contributing factors. I think the first factor is that, you know, time has passed and with time, things, things get better. Things get better with time, right? So I think that time has a lot to do with it. Another thing is this past um, four to six weeks, I left my hair alone and I've left it up in this updo style. Y'all would, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put a picture right here. I left it in this updo style and that seemed to work for me. I left it alone. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't take it down, um, manipulate. I didn't do anything. And I think that that helped just to kind of keep my hair still for a long period of time, help with my shedding. Another contributing factor is, yes, I shed in the same area, which is like right here, but for the shedding that's kind of throughout my hair, one thing that I've noticed is that, I'm gonna give you an example, see if I can find one. I don't wanna mess up the curl. Okay, for example, I've noticed that the shedding is like in here and I'm losing about this much lock, right? Cause the shedding is here and it's get, it got weaker and weaker. This is just the shedding that was kind of throughout my hair. Um, what I noticed is that it's getting better. That's a sign that it's getting better because it's kind of like my hair is growing out, getting stronger. And the weaker part that was right here is leaving, right? Um, we have kind of trimmed 
those parts off that are too weak to hold on. But it's a good sign to me because it lets me know that my new growth is coming in strong, right? Um, and the shedding is starting to subside. And for me, that's exciting. I'm excited about that. That's good news. Um, I also want to say that for those who are experiencing shedding like me right now, it's going to get better. I'm not going to beat myself up or my hair up about what's going on with my postpartum shedding. I'm just going to continue to be patient, right? But with being patient, I also need to kind of take a closer look at my hormones and figure out, you know, why is it that, you know, it's been... 19 months since I've had a baby, it's been six months that I stopped breastfeeding, that I'm continuing to see shedding, you know? Is there a hormonal or chemical imbalance that really needs to be addressed? So I am looking for an endocrinologist. An endocrinologist, what they do is they take a look at your hormones, see what's kind of imbalanced and not imbalanced. Um, and kind of help you. And so that's my plan is to meet with an endocrinologist and address what exactly is going on with my hormones. What can I do to help get it in balance maybe quicker? And maybe then I won't lose, my shedding will stop, right? That's the hope. But I'm not only just doing that for my shedding, I'm doing that because having Having my hormones potentially in balance means that it affects my brain, my dopamine, my serotonin, like all those happy hormones, my mood, right? So I am addressing all of those things and I hope that the effect of me addressing those things means that I'm gonna get my hair to stop shedding as well. Yes. So that's pretty much the update on what's going on. Like I said, I don't know what I'm about to do to my hair right now, but we're gonna continue to take out these rollers and style this hair. So here we go. <laughs> today if you are new here please don't forget to comment give me some suggestions on what you would like to see in regards to my sister locks 
if you are returning, thank you all for watching again. Um, also, y'all, please don't forget to support me. I'm a small YouTuber. And, you know, don't forget to like this video. It really helps a lot. And please don't forget to subscribe. That helps me a lot as well. And again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.